Hello, this is uh, One Person Studio here. So, this is episode 7 of my new series in coding game where I code uh, fun programming challenges. So, we're gonna start with this puzzle, Unary. So, what would I learn? So, I need to um, convert characters into binary values. That's all I need to do. And we need to use strings, loops, and conditions. And uh, my and uh, the main statement um, from this puzzle is my program must encode a string into a series uh, zeros. So that's where it comes. That's where encoding comes from. All right, let's solve it. Um, I'm gonna use Python um, for this puzzle. I feel like I I like using Python. Um, it's my favorite language to program. So we're gonna start. We're gonna continue using that. So obviously a binary with zero and one is good, but obviously the main, the main uh, um, we want to output the main goal of this puzzle is uh, we want a binary with only zeros. That's what we want. Uh, so these are the rules. So the input message consists of ASCII characters. Um, yep, yeah, the encoded output message consists of blocks of zeros. So we, that's what we want. This is important, I think, this is right here. A block is separated from another block by a space. That's important. Right, so this is an example right here. Um, I think that's what I need to do. So this is the game input. So the message, of, the message consists of N ASCII characters. So this is right here. So, um, consists of characters and obviously the output is the encoded message okay let's start um right i'm gonna get rid of everything because i like to start from scratch but this is important so just bear in mind of that um let's start from scratch all right i want to start by reading the input we need to read the input so, so what I just did, I just simplified. I just simplified it. So, message um, consists um, cons consists of ASCII characters, right? And I want to convert the input message. binary that's one that's what I want to do and to do that is I want to put a capitals binary and just put a, a empty strings that's it and then I'm gonna add a for loop so if I in range um, len and then use message What len does is short for length three uh, char in binary so characters into binary and use a string. Okay, that's a mistake right here. What, what did I do wrong? Oh, right. Okay. That should work, right? Yes, it did. Alright. So, use a string. Okay. Oh, oh I've got. I've got another parameter. Now it should work. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, that's what, that's what it does. That's, that's what it does. Um, and then I want to fill. I want to fill the binary with zeros, and but it has to be a seven bit because it says it on the. I think it says it. Where does it say it? Uh, yes, yeah, it's right here. Seven bits. So 
so char in binary um, equals char in binary we want to fill it seven and then we want to use binary plus char in binary And then I want to convert binary, but in uh, um, in Chuck in Chuck uh, Norris's code. So I want to make a, a last character uh, empty sheet, but it has to be space. I want a coded message um, with no space, and we want to code. So let's call it coded bits. Uh, this this is going to be important. This is what we need to print out. I think. Things like that. I think like that. We'll see. And then add a for loop. And so if binary. Not equal to uh, last character. Then last character equals binary. And then I want to use um, coded message plus encoded bits. Uh, last characters, parameter series, and minus zero. Yeah, that works. Else, just code message. So I want to print out after we did all of that. So we're just going to print out the encoded message. So we want to print out the coded message. Okay, well let's hope uh, let's hope that works. I think it should do. No, it doesn't. So line twenty six. What happened line twenty six? Out of range. Right. So I know we do this. If I can't find out why that happened, I'll just rewrite it. Just good for memory. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any, I don't see any problems. Yeah, I don't why. Okay, so it can't be that then.
Sometimes it doesn't give you. Sometimes it doesn't tell you because if let's say this line is the problem, it doesn't mean that line is the problem. It means it's the obvious error, but there's something, there's something. Right, I think it's something to I think it's something to do with the for loop. Right, um. There you go, has to be. There you go. So that's the that's the standard output stream. You can see this is just zeros basically. Yeah. Okay, that's submit it. Well there you go. Well thank you for watching this video and next episode will come out soon. Bye.